Welcome to the No No Giorgio and Rory Cooking Italian for Weight Loss channel. Today we're doing pasta fagioli, but we're adding in yellow squash. Look how soupy and delicious this looks. We did it with cavatellis. Hi, welcome back to the No No Giorgio and Rory Cooking Italian for Weight Loss channel. Now, we've talked about how we've been losing weight and we've lost a lot of weight. Um, but what we do on the weekends, and it's Friday, so it's the beginning of our weekend, um, allow ourselves some pasta, maybe a little bit of bread with eggs in the morning, that type of thing. So today we're making a very uh, popular Italian dish, yeah. pasta fagioli. And pasta fagioli is uh, pasta with beans. It's a, you know, a poor dish, but it, it's, you can get it all over Italy. It's just delicious. So we've got some chopped tomatoes in a sauce. We've got two yellow squash. We have a 15 ounce can of uh, cannellini beans. We've got some fresh um, basil. Mm -hmm. We've got garlic, uh, three cloves of garlic. Uh, we've got onion about a quarter of a medium onion and just for fun we're adding in some scallions for a little bit more flavor. Now the pasta that's normally used if you like long pasta they use ziti. If you like uh, short pastas uh, the more traditional you can get tubatini, the little little tubes uh, of pasta. We're gonna step outside the box today. We're using gavatelli's. <laughs> George's favorite, I think, or uh, one of his One of favorites. my favorite pastas, um, not traditional for this dish, but um, they're small and they, I think, will soak up yes. the beans and the flavor. Tomato and, and sauce, yeah. So we're going to cook the cavatellis in salted water behind us. And then the rest of this basically goes in the onions and scallions and garlic will go into some oil, um, medium, medium low, you know, we, we just wanted to get them sauteing. And then we'll put the uh, beans and the uh, yellow squash in, and then we'll end up with the, putting tomato in and letting that just simmer and get nice. Uh, and then, f and the beans, of course. Um, and then some seasoning. We're gonna do salt and pepper, and we, we like things spicy. So we're going to use a little red hot pepper flakes. If you don't like it, don't put it in. All right, let's get started. We've got the onions, the scallions, and the garlic simmering in olive oil. So I'm going to, I like putting a little bit of salt um, when I saute. I'm going to save the uh, red pepper flakes for later. A little bit of pepper. And we're just going to get these until they start getting soft. Then we're going to put in our squash and our beans. And I've got it a little uh, lower than medium. And I'm going to cook with a top just so that things cook through. When this is done, uh, we'll put, you know, when it gets softer, we'll put the tomato sauce in and the basil and then a little hot pepper flakes. We're also going to put a ladle full of the pasta water when the pasta is almost done. This pasta calls for six to eight minutes. Um, I will always reduce that a little, so I'm going to time five and taste one. If it's not ready, I'll go one more minute to six and so on. But I always taste. You can't back up if you go too long. And pasta should be al dente, not soggy. So the beans were cooked. Uh, the squash started getting that translucent centers, meaning they're just about cooked. We put our tomato sauce in and it's looking, it's looking really, really good. This is a, a larger portion than for two, and even though we're doing two portions of pasta, but 
we can save the sauce. We're going to put in some um, basil and some hot pepper. And just give it a stir to mix it. Turn it down just a little bit. It's at medium low now. And cover it. Now our water is almost ready. The uh, sauce with the squash is just about done. I've turned the heat down to low. I'm going to put the cavatellis in and uh, set the timer for one, two, minutes. Give them a stir. Now this is salted water so that they don't stick together. And we can look at this. Looks pretty good. Okay, the cavatellis are floating which is a sign that they're almost done, or done. And I just tasted one. It's a little on the hard side, but we're going to put it in the uh, sauce and let it cook for another uh, minute or so. I've dumped our cavatellis into the sauce. They'll finish cooking in here. And we're just going to let them go maybe a minute and then we're going to move this into a big bowl, add some grated cheese, and plate and taste. Mm -mm -mm. We are finished. We're going to take this creation and pour it into a serving bowl. Cheese, grated cheese, whatever your favorite is. And we're going to now taste it. We have this uh, wonderful cavatelli and squash with tomato sauce uh, dish. And I'm going to dish a little to taste. Rory had a business meeting, so she had to run. And of course, you got to have a glass of vino. All right, let's see. The squash. Mmm. The beans and the squash are perfect. The cavatellis. Mm. That's a good dish. You should try it. If you like this recipe or think you're going to make it, check the like box. That helps us on uh, YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe and hit the bell. The bell will notify you when, you when we send out a new update from YouTube. Well, for now, ciao and arrivederci. Bon appetit. We hope you have enjoyed our channel. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you get notified of new videos when they come out.